Britain fires its first H-bomb to join the United States and Russia as ranking atomic powers. The thermonuclear device was fired high over its target in the Christmas Islands, keeping fallout at a minimum. But the test added heat to the mounting debate over the safety of atomic tests and came to on the eve of renewed disarmament talks between Russia and the West. With a limitation on further atomic tests increasing in possibility, Britain has staked its claim to full status as a nuclear world power, perhaps none too soon. The world was shocked by one of the bloodiest episodes in Algeria's grim and bitter 31-month-old struggle between France and Muslim nationalists seeking independence. This is Malouza a small native community after the raid in which every male over 15 was lined up en masse before rebel firing squad. These few escaped the raid that signaled a new wave of terrorism in Algeria. Nationalist spokesmen answered denunciations with countercharges of French atrocities, and both sides called for the sympathy of the outside world, which saw ravaged Malouza as symbolic of the savage conflict in which Muslim slays Muslim without mercy, in the cause of Arab nationalism. The president's new helicopters practiced landings on the White House lawn in preparation for the job of ferrying Ike between his official residence and National Airport. The president was playing golf at the time, but members of his staff watched the whirlybirds go through their paces. One will airlift the president above the Capitol's crowded streets, the other will carry a Secret Service detachment. One other possible use for the White House helicopters, evacuation in event of emergency. Israel reveals a two-sided Arab policy with a helping hand to its own Arab population, chiefly nomads who have settled down to farming, a painfully poor and hard existence in the harsh Negev desert. But a brighter future is promised by new harvesting combines provided under a government aid program. Despite the skepticism of the oldest inhabitants, New farm machinery and training in soil management will make the desert bloom for Bedouin tribesmen. A huge throng, estimated at well over 100,000, jams Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn for the Model Flying Fair. Home-built replicas of conventional craft and also jet planes are entered in the competition with prizes worth $10,000 for the winners. The air was filled with the buzzing of tiny motors, and one little speedster was clocked at 163 miles an hour, and that's fast for some real planes. Here comes Wrong Way Corrigan. 